Another thing we're going to have to do with quadratics and our different forms for quadratics is switch back and forth. So you're going to have to get to a different form given standard form or vertex form or any of them. Okay, so to get to standard form, it's actually pretty easy. No matter what, there's no parentheses, there's no factors, anything like that. So to get to standard form, you take your other forms and you multiply them out. Okay, so for the first one, we're going to uh, distribute. Right, FOIL. Remember FOIL, first, outer, inner, last. So my first terms, x times x is x squared. My outer terms, x times negative 3 is negative 3x. My inner terms, 4 times x. And the last terms in each parenthesis, 4 times negative 3. All right, we got like terms. So I got x squared and then negative 3 plus 4 is a positive 1. And then minus 12. So there's my standard form. Just multiply it out. Okay, same thing for number two, except, oh my goodness, you drive me absolutely insane. This x plus one squared, don't ever, ever, ever distribute this two. No can do. This is a big no-no. Big no-no, okay? This is a binomial. You cannot distribute an exponent unless it's a monomial. No adding and subtracting in between. To do a binomial squared, we have to do x plus 1 times x plus 1. Multiply it by itself. Because remember, x squared equals x times x. So then a parentheses squared is going to equal the parentheses times parentheses. So then we can FOIL. So we have x squared plus 1x, plus 1x, plus 2. Like terms, so we have x squared plus 2x plus 2. So there's this part. Simplify. But I'm not done yet. i got to plug back in. So I got 2 times x squared plus x, oops, sorry, plus 2x, plus, oh my goodness, losing my mind. 1 times 1 is 1, not 2. All right, minus 1. Now I can distribute the 2, so we have 2x squared plus 4x plus 2 minus 1, and then last step, I have like terms, so 2x squared plus 4x plus 1, All right? So a little more work than just foiling, okay? But don't forget, you have to foil the squared parentheses, then distribute, and then combine like terms, All right? But to get to standard form, you always multiply, regardless of what form you started in. Okay, to get to vertex form, right? Remember vertex form is that um, a times x minus h squared plus k. Okay, you have the same a across all three forms. So whatever a you start with, you're going to keep for vertex form. So for this first one, that 2 is going to be the first part of my equation, right? So I'm going to have y equals 2 times something. All right, to get the rest of vertex form, I need my hk point, which is my vertex. So I'm going to go from standard form to vertex form by finding the vertex. And to find the vertex, we start with the axis of symmetry, which is negative b over 2a. So in this case, my b is 9. So I have negative 9. And then my a is 2, so over 2 times 2. So I get negative 9 over 4. And that's gross. Could have made a nicer one for us. All right, but there's the x value of my vertex. The y value, right, I'm going to have to plug in. So I have negative 9 over 4 something. All right, so I have 2 times negative 9 over 4 squared plus 9 times negative 9 over 4 and then plus 7. And guess what? You can type that into the calculator so easily. If I can find my calculator, I'm going to type it in just like it's written. Okay, and I'll even show you. So we've got 2 times negative 9 divide, oop, divided by 4 squared plus 9 times negative 9 divided by 4 plus 7. Okay, and if you get a decimal, we can go math, enter, enter, and we can get that fraction. Okay, not that it really matters. And then I'm going to come plug these back in. So I have x. Right? Remember, opposite sign for my h value. So I'm going to say x plus 9 over 4 squared. And then my k keeps the same sign, so minus 25 over 8. Okay, the ones you're going to see on Delta Math are prettier than that. Okay, your assignments. I don't know why I did that. 
All right, if it's in intercept form, same steps except the AOS in intercept form is that P plus Q divided by two. So you still use the same A value and then you find your AOS and plug it in to find your vertex. Okay, and then the last option is to get to uh, intercept form. Now, to get to intercept form, you have to be in standard form first. So if I give you an equation in vertex form and you have to go to intercept form, you have to multiply to get it in standard form. Then to go from standard inter intercept form, you factor. So this one's plain Jane, nice and pretty. So I'm going to go straight to parentheses, right? And then I'm going to put uh, two numbers that multiply to one and add to two. So that's going to be one and one, right? We saw this one before. So this is okay as an answer, but usually when you have to write these, if I have the same parentheses, we go back and put them as my parentheses squared, like we did, we saw in that first problem. All right, so factor and you get to intercept form. Now, technically, when you have it written like this, it's intercept form and vertex form at the same time because you have an H and then your K would have been zero.